so as you can see it's the old components which is used to create 4wd bluetooth control car using arduino then some main circuit which are arduino uno r3 board as you can see L298N motor driver which is used to control bow motors after that HC05 bluetooth module which is used to connect the bluetooth after that bow motors now apart from that you need some more things like you need some cables some jumper wires male to male and female to male like that Apart from that, you need uh, 18650, 18650 3.7 volt battery cell, which is chargeable. And lastly, you need a one switch to turn it on and off. That's the all component list to create a 4WD Bluetooth control car. So let's begin it. some connections first we will start with bow motors so the plus one module is solder with plus one module with another bow motor and the minus one module of bow motor is connected with a minus module of another bow motor so this is how we connect them so let's solder it So now we need to test it. So just put the minus one, and as you can see, it's a minus and plus. So minus one connect with minus one. Just testing that our wires are connected properly. As you can see, motors are start working as it is. as it works properly now you have to do for two more bow motors after completing all the parts we are up to bluetooth module as you have as you can see we have to connect four pins at rx lead rd tx lead gnd and vcc you need four jumper cables male to female let's do it That's how you can do it. Oh shit! Twice or so. Like this. After connecting, just connect it with Arduino board. Connect G N D with G N D and V in. with vcc with v in so this is how it going okay and now for connect rx and tx connect the rx cable into tx and tx cable into rx one vice versa like opposite rx into tx tx into rx Okay, here the Bluetooth module is uh, enabled. After that, we need to connect uh, output pins, our output pins. So here I used some output pins like 13, 12, 10, 11, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
Spotify output pins. Now, as you can see, when I turn this switch on, the everything must be goes on. Now we need to upload a code. Open your Arduino IDE tools and just select the port which you are which you have Arduino is connected. Now compile the code. Yes, code is compiled. Now we just need to upload the code. It is uploading and the code is uploading. Now we are ready to play. After the code is uploaded successfully, disconnect the Arduino cable from your laptop or PC. After that, we have to download a Bluetooth control APK or application from Play Store. Just search for it. Bluetooth control RC car like that. Yes, we need to download this application. I already downloaded, so I'm just going to open it. Now we need to allow the permission. After that, just click on the setting symbol and connect to car. Scan for devices. In my case, I have ZDI SSP. As you can see, there is a green light, means it is connected. 